All right, upon a closer inspection, I finally know what the heck this is for target practice. They would just kind of hit it and they clink. Yeah, this, oh yeah, this gives way. That's a neat little target thing. I've never really seen that before. <clears throat> Shooting from over here. So this is certainly private property I'm on. They got a woods on the water. So the draining of this reservoir must have happened this year. Little side puddle, it's kind of moist. Smells swampy. Lots of deer tracks. All right, I'm gonna dump this stick, this straight stick, no features to it in favor of this other stick that has the handle on the side. Both five feet. Uh, this one's a little bit heavier. I gotta give this some time to dry out. I mean, it sat on the beach for who knows how long. It's a maple, it's at risk of cracking. I need to figure things out here. But uh, yeah. I gotta maintain enough room in the car, so I'll take the chance, because I really appreciate that handle a lot. I'll get rid of the straight stick. And for some reason, I'm really having a lot of difficulty trying to figure out if uh, a downward pointing handle would be good or better. I just don't see benefits in that but I'd have to make one to to be able to play with it and and figure it out I, f I feel like there's more benefits with this this uh, up pointing handle instead all right I want to make another four foot stick I've already done the five <clears throat> I want to replace my straight stick. This this is a nice straight stick here. And I want it to complement this forefoot that I have. And I gotta admit that the forefoot, this current one, I really don't need the forks to be so long, but I'll accept it. I'm thinking this one will have shorter. Eh, maybe not that much shorter since it's so narrow, actually. I'm going to measure out four feet. Let's see. Four feet, uh, one inch. I'm thinking. And now the, the standard's going to be my, my hand width for a start so it's comfortable maybe right about here so I can't really get into that groove very well so and I don't want to force my hand in there maybe like up to here so I'll start the four foot four foot one above my hand and this is all still a bit of an experiment too. <clears throat> There's all different shapes and sizes out there. It's a quick cut. I believe this to be maple. The more challenging cut is going to be the bottom. Okay, so I keep both about the same length. <clears throat> okay, now four, four feet one inch. A little over four feet one inch from the base.
four feet. And then one inch, a little bit more for the, the blade size. Yeah, that'll be that'll be pretty neat. I'm gonna throw away my straight forefoot in favor of this forked forefoot. <clears throat> as soon as I get this all taken care of. <clears throat> you know, you always measure twice, right? Just to be sure. Four feet on the the base, yeah, four feet, one inch, a little over, okay. You know, spend an hour, about an hour debarking it. pretty nice that this just kind of sitting here I don't know why but it is sitting here right on the beach drawing not cracking <laughs> I'm gonna want to uh, keep it in the shade for a while to after I debark it just so it doesn't dry too fast because I think there's a little water the the five foot I cut felt a little wet. And there's really nothing else I can do with this this uh, this nice piece of maple sitting here. What did this thing used to be? This is the rear. The plug is on the rear here. It's on wheels. <clears throat> Got a lot of electronic stuff on the sides and the very back. On the bottom, plugs and whatever. <clears throat> Let's see if I can turn it over. All right. And then this is the top. It doesn't quite look like a TV. Various tubes. It's just a big jo oh, speaker, just a big junk pile here. Most likely just an old TV. Almost every time uh, it starts getting dark, it also starts getting colder, and if I feel like I maybe suffocating because I'm at the mercy of this weather as it as the temperatures drop and it's it's kind of tough to deal with I sometimes wish I could have a little heater to turn on in this car just to, to stabilize the, the drop in the temperature um. oh I'm just having a little rest I mean all right, well, I've seen you here all day. I didn't know if you needed help or something. Oh, back and forth. You've been on the road? Yeah, I yeah, I live right up the road. Oh, and also it's a personal thing, too. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, I just oh, wonder if you needed Italian. help or something. I thought you were a cop or no, something. No, no, I just didn't want to shine the light in your face I, like I cops do. I, was, I didn't even bother to, your car kind of looked like a cop car. Well, it's all beat up. <laughs> you, weren't the, you weren't the guy shooting off the, your gun. Oh, yeah, I live right up here, yeah. That's your gun? Wow, yeah. that's a loud gun. Yeah, I got a lot of them, you but... Got, 
get a boom to that thing. Yeah. No, we need a singer. I'm just I'm just sitting here. Just I mean I've been here all day. Yeah. I cut, I cut some uh, some uh, walking sticks. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm I, not. I don't care I, about that or I, nothing. I just I just stopped for a, a, the day. I'm I'm a lazy traveler. Oh okay. And uh, okay. as it's getting colder, I'm going south. So oh okay. I'm just uh, slowly going south. I'm not in a rush, but you know I'm just I, trying to make sure you're okay. Yeah, yeah, you you know you've uh you you uh you're back and forth a lot. Yeah, I drive around a lot and I put a lot of miles on. Okay. Got to go places, go to the farm. I just got back from the farm, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, what? uh, yeah. Here you got chickens. You know, you know, yeah, yeah, I got my own animals too, but I got to go to other farms too. But hey, yeah. right, just making sure you're okay. Yeah, Didn't know I, if you're broke down here or what. No, no, this car runs fine. All right, all right. Well, sounds good. You have a good night then. Okay, okay. Sorry right. for waking you up. Yep, have a good one. All right, I'm looking for another neck exerciser. Just to play with uh, the feelings of it. And as I look, I'm actually, ra I'm, I'm just, I'm noticing that I'm raising my standards now. If it has white mold or black mold, I am not gonna consider it. I was looking at this one. But it's got black and white mold. I don't want to deal with that. And also, let me say, I really love this neck exercise. See, it's the right length for, for my elbows. My elbows rest right at the bottom of this. So I'm pushing down with my elbows. I don't know. It's really nice. I like that. All right, between Wausau and Stevens Point. Between Wausau and Stevens Point, Wisconsin. All right, taking a look at Zenoth, Zenhof Park. They're kind of big on Nokarians. I don't even say during game or not. Wow, I actually left this unlocked. So there might be somebody in here. I'm kind of looking for a bathroom. Just just to be prepared. All right, I don't know. This might be a private park. So that little ne area next to the, the fire hydrant's not a warm up area. We got cash only at this window. With a clear sign, guns and hoses. Is that the police versus fire department thing? And then this is interesting to me. Do not throw, play, catch, or swing in gravel area. All this attention to, to instruction with the signs, Things look well manicured. It might it gives me the impression it's it's kind of kind of a big deal around here. Might be private. No parking from two thirty to six. So that's a three and a half hour time frame. All right, I just want to make note that I find the smell from charcoal that got onto the bottom of this pot to be <clears throat> a little irritating. I mean, I, I kind of think the, the smell is neat, but in turn, I also feel like I'm being, my throat is being irritated and it might, might have also contributed to the inflammation that I'm suffering. I blame nuts. But charcoal is also a suspect. So I don't know what to think about charcoal cooking exactly. I'm not, 
I'm not too happy about uh, the things I'm breathing in from it. So on the open cart trains, you're provided a buffalo skin and a blanket in the winter time to deal with that cold. But you don't need to worry about freezing too badly because the tree, it's, it's got a, a thick tree line on either, on the, on the tracks. So apparently there's a lot of clay in Stevens Point on these people's property, the Langenbergs. They got the family dog. In 1899, take a picture of uh, their, their, their brickyard. All right, so Stevens Point has a fair amount of white birch. White birch naturally growing in the area. That'll stop at some point, heading south. Plenty of maple trees around here. Is this supposed to be part of the sculpture park? What a display. Well, this is a little freaky, but first of all, infinite clearance. <laughs> I love their road signs. I love this. This is great. How am I supposed to sit on that? <laughs> Conservation is a state of harmony. <laughs> they got a little log that you'd step up on. <laughs> a gigantic oversized seat. That is awesome. Here's a real significant and helpful sign. Meander. I should have uh, recorded the, the one display with like a hundred bird houses right next to each other. Now we got this, but it's got a door. How do birds get in? Imagine seeing these signs on the road. What's the most useless sign you could see in a driving road? That's what you find at this sculpture park. You are enough. That's usually a wrong way sign. Now it's telling me I'm enough. So this house was built upside down. Build our, we'll build with our own hands. So they decided to build this. And you can see the roof is on the bottom. And this is the floor. And this all the tables are built, nailed to the to the floor. Nice house. So I slept in the festival grocery store parking lot overnight. Internet really didn't reach my car. And uh, I saw a couple people walk over here and I see that it's a residential area. I walked by my car, little pathway to a pretty good sized residential. All right, well, I experimented with charcoal cooking and I'm done with it now. I cannot handle the smoke. I am still suffering after two days. After cooking with charcoal two days ago, I'm still experiencing problems with my breathing, my heart. That whole connection is, it feels like there's a swelling. I can't handle it. I hope I recover. It feels, it feels really bad. It doesn't even feel like the charcoal went deep in my lungs. It feels like it collected right around my heart, where the heart meets the lungs. That's where I feel uh, all the congestion. It's like right, right in here. Not, not deep in my lungs. 
Well, it appears they're very serious about, about parking enforcement, even on weekends. Actually, I don't know why, actually. Maybe, maybe the side road is not busy about overnight, par about uh, weekends. I gotta look again. All right, Stevens Point. They got some serious parking go uh, situation going on here. <clears throat> You know, I'm thinking I'll go to the park 0.5 miles away, but I, I, you know, it's that's no guarantee that they'll be easy on parking over there. <laughs> yeah, my lungs are so full of charcoal. I, I feel like I'm I'm spitting up dust or smoke. Oh, it's like oh, I feel like I'm like uh, something is stuck in my lungs, and I'm spitting it up, and it's most likely that charcoal. All right, uh, Steven, in a Stevens Point parking uh, parking lot at the library, I just want to make a comment that whenever I see pretty college girls walking around, casually walking around, I know I'm in a bad spot. I know it's because this is this is a hev this is a hard enforced uh, parking area, so I know that I'm in a a really heavily enforced area for parking uh, when I see pretty college girls walking around casually. Hello. Hi, do you understand the parking? Do I understand the parking? Yes. Yes, what's... Okay, yeah, it says that two hours is free. Oh, wait, no, no, it doesn't say that. It says uh, the two-hour enforcement is not on the so Saturdays. But it's, I mean, it's still saying that you have to pay to park. So you have to pay for those two hours? No. Paying for is just overnight parking. You're only paying for overnight parking and that's it? Yes. So parking during the week is two hour maximum. Limit. Yeah, and then don't repark. Don't repark. So like if you would, be, like let's say it's Friday and you parked here for two hours and yeah. you needed to stay longer, you'd have to move your vehicle to about, to like one of the streets or another parking area. Okay. The weekends... All right. You can park as long as you and want. Then, and then uh, permit parking is something else? That is something That's, else. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, well, then, yeah. yeah. So you're good. Sounds, so, uh, thanks. Yeah. It's just so. Um, thank you. I know. Well, signs are confusing. It, it is. Yeah. Because <laughs> then I walk, walk over here and I see yeah. two cars with tickets, but they don't they don't say that there's no it weekend probably, thing. It's probably overnight. Okay. Because you can't park on the streets overnight. Over, okay. So yeah. then they decided. They're gonna charge you to park in the parking lots overnight. So. Oh. Yeah, okay. I think they yeah they could probably explain that better. Yeah, they could. Okay. All right. Thank you. They have to put a no smoking sign in the library. <clears throat> don't don't do it. They they suck it with like a bag of All right, I'm trying a little orange peel. Actually, uh, about three or four tablespoons mixed with my milk to try to counteract my stomach inflammation.
because <laughs> it's very concerning and that's about the only solution I have my stomach's inflamed I think it's partly from charcoal co cooking that's a little different but that's the same area I don't want both my lungs and my stomach being inflamed at the same time I know that'll bring problems All right, so this is a one-way road in Stevens Point on the park I want to park at. Uh, I was wanting to, wait, one way? Well, where are the, do they expect people to back in? I'm thinking because the one way is straight this way and angled parking is in a way that you'd be coming the other way, but they don't have any signs saying that you should back in. <laughs> They're laying all kinds of rubber on this uh, playground here. So, where I'm parked, the, I'm downwind from that and I'm really smelling it. So I don't want to stay parked where I'm at. Oh yeah, there it is. Back in angle parking. Wow. <laughs> and the one way, and there's people that live on this one way, they got driveways. So I guess I would be interested in moving down further across the street. It's a big farmer's market. Can't really see them. The tree, they're across the river. But the tree lines are making it hard to see. <clears throat> All right, I think I want to park at this area. Plant bio. All right. Very good shade parking here. Only two cars, plenty of space. I like what I see. I put a big fence up. This is a dog area. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first dog beach I've seen <laughs> exclusively for dogs <laughs> some people want to swim here but it's a dog 
off-leash area. <clears throat> Alright, because I got this inflammation in my gut, I'm turning to my slippery elm. And I just want to say that I'm very disappointed in central Wisconsin. I haven't seen any. And I've seen it on the west part of Wisconsin all the way through to the west part of North Dakota. As far south as Kansas. But not central Wisconsin. Maple. Um, what's that? It's certainly not a... I don't know what that is. Ash, maybe. Birch. All the evergreens have squeezed this, this wonderful tree out. It's unfortunate. I'm a little surprised that this area attracts a few extra homeless people around. I'm a little surprised. There are uh, just there's maybe se uh, seven seven hanging around the, the library which offers Wi-Fi they haven't shut the Wi-Fi down as a result of uh, well homeless or just I don't know people who don't really have any better place to go than hang around downtown the library's downtown they're downtown so I gotta cool and soothe my digestion because it gets warm it uh, gets inflamed feels like there's something swelling and I'm thinking stuff like chia seeds my slippery elm marshmallow things that are going to have the mucilage cool and soothe I guess I'm gonna have to focus on that and see how that uh, can address my if that properly addresses this problem in my chest It's funny to me to think that a World War II vet saved me from the cops, pretty much, by, by helping tow my car away so they wouldn't tow my car, and he gave me a place to sleep for a few, few nights in, Jan in about late December, in, in, uh, during Christmas time when it got really cold. A World War II vet. A fellow vet. Yeah, I just slept here last night, no problems. Nobody bothered me. And also, my health didn't bother me. Nobody bothered me, and my health didn't bother me. So I'm improving again with my, my health, my breathing. Uh, the tightness in my chest is reduced. Uh, I was going to say something about that. Just, I think that uh, I, I was suffering a big combination this time of uh, the cho charcoal cooking with the pollution there. I was in a very polluted area. There's sections of on the Wisconsin River that have a lot of factories, power factories, and they got warnings about steam on the road. I wasn't too far from that, sleeping two nights, not too far from it at the library. So there was that. There was a little dust, and there's mold from uh, cutting all the, the wood, old wood, cutting into that, and uh, uh, exposing black and white mold, uh, <laughs> and then just being older. <clears throat> I think there was a big combination of all of that <clears throat> that was just collecting in my lungs and my chest. <laughs> I seem to be improving now. I just had to clear that out. I needed time to clear that out. I guess maybe part of the reason I didn't notice these grapes before was because there's somebody who was parked here yesterday. But you look also on this side of the grapevine from a little bit of a distance. You'd think, oh, there's no grapes. Looking at it from my car. And then I come over to the other side Holy crap, it's bountiful. I want to harvest all these. There's a ton of these grapes all around. They're really doing good and reachable too. <clears throat> all right. 
Look at them. Can't you tell? There, there's plenty more. What, what, are, well, what, are, what are they? Look at them. You, you can't tell what those are? Are, are you a local? Oh, yeah. Well, it's a, it's a vine. Maybe that'll help you. Uh, you can think of... Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a good guess. I picked some Concord grapes yesterday. Well, these are grapes, too. I'm not, I don't have to pay for these. I trust that they're good. Yeah. It's off the off the road. Yeah, so. What about you? You make jam? Jam? The seeds the seeds are a little big, but they're edible too. Oh, I'm yeah. I got my no, that's good for entertainment. <laughs> Alright, it may look like a lot, but uh, it's a lot of vine and green green in there. But uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to chew on these. Maybe it'll help my condition. Whenever I see people looking at me and there's a child or a dog in between us, I wonder, are they looking at me? I see two sets of stairs and some weird like flume or shoot, something maybe for sledding. They set up things, something for sledding, but why are there rocks at the bottom? I don't understand. There's a fossil here too. Looks like it's kind of designed for a little light sledding, but they put a rock on the bottom. Seems really strange.